Welcome to another long delayed video. In this episode, you can follow me along in a side project in which I continue building a metal dust collector. While it may not be obvious from these videos, the dust created by grinding swords gets to be everywhere. This means that any surface in the shop is dirty, and my hope is that a dust collector may lead to a cleaner shop. In this episode, I will cut sheet metal and work on the outer enclosure of the dust collector. This leads me to a spot where I can test run it for the first time. To attach the sheet metal to the angle iron frame, I am cutting little steel squares with tapped quarter inch holes to which the sheet metal can be screwed. These get welded to the frame in multiple locations. While it would be much easier to just weld the sheet metal against the frame, I am keeping the option to remove each sheet metal panel in case access is needed at a later point. This may be optimizing for something that could be very unlikely. However, as I am building this as I go, without having a concrete plan, I am sure I will forget some small detail that needs to be revisited. And besides, the option to weld continues to be available, and at that point the screws just become visible ornaments. Cutting 16 gauge sheet metal with an electric shear is quite challenging and takes a fairly long time. Better tools, such as a plasma cutter, would certainly be nice. The process for attaching the panel is the same as before. Little tack welded squares that receive screws to attach the panel. The next step is to place an inner wall that separates the dust chamber from a filter array that cleans the exhaust air. Duct tape is of course an essential ingredient to any project and needs to play a crucial role here as well. The angle iron in this case needs to be shaped for the circular tube from the blower. The belt sender makes short process of that task and a perfect fit is not important here. It's time to cut the sheet metal again, and it's not getting any easier. The plasma cutter sure would be nice. In the first episode, cutting a circular hole with a nibbler was not that easy as well. I thought I would experiment with a cutting torch, but I think I'm not doing that quite right. The challenge here is that the cutting torch was raising the seam and the nibbler would no longer be able to cut. So I need to create some working space with a bandsaw first. After a lot of work, the hole is big enough and fits over the exhaust pipe.
The sheet metal is a reasonable fit, but the chamber really needs to be airtight. And to help with that, I'm placing some weather stripping. Eventually, some silicon caulking might need to come into play as well. Once I'm done with that, I need to cut a few more pieces of sheet metal and also need to cut another circular hole, as well as a hole for the intake. With that prospect in mind, I finally broke down and realized that a plasma cutter is really a useful tool to have in the shop. Let's take a look at how that is working out. Let me tell you, it's really night and day. The circle is almost perfect and cleanup is minimal. This is so nice, I should have invested in the plasma cutter from the get-go. Some more weather stripping and we are getting close to doing a first test of the contraption. However, before that can happen, I still need to build the intake port, which will also support the buffer. The intake port will also need to be cut into the sheet metal panel that covers this side of the dust collector. Without the plasma cutter, cutting this precisely would have been difficult as well. Let's see how easy everything now seems to be. And there we go, a panel cut to the right size with the correct opening for the intake port. Now it really gets to be the time to do a test run. I collected a ton of metal dust and shavings from the floor around the bandsaw. Let's see how much we can collect. The hope is that almost everything is just on the floor of the dust collection chamber and did not just get blown out. Let's take a look. I am quite happy with the result, which makes this also a good time to end the episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you watched some of my recent videos, I already mentioned the Pattern Welding Explained t-shirts. I have fun wearing them and you might as well. Check the link in the description for more details. As always, thanks to everyone on Patreon. I appreciate the support and patience. Creating these videos always takes a lot of time, but I will keep them coming. See you next time.